Me win. All right, I am here with Mateo from Micro Air. He's going to explain to us what they do with Soft Start. So, Mateo, take it away. All right, Tim, thanks very much. All right, we got the Easy Start Soft Starter here. What is it? What does it do? Well, you all have heard of hard starts. This right. is the opposite. Good. A hard start takes the current, adds more current to force the compressor right. to start up faster, whereas Easy Start spreads the current out over a longer period of time taking that initial starting surge down 65 to 75%. Why is that important? Do you got dimming lights? Do you have loud noise when the compressor starts? Are you trying to start the compressor on a generator or on a solar inverter system with batteries? Easy Start allows you to start and run the compressor when it otherwise wouldn't have worked. That's the main benefit. Okay. Also, Easy Start, because you're gently starting the compressor as opposed to forcing it to start abruptly as right. all hard starts are, you extend the life of the compressor because you yes. reduce the stress on the components. Right. So right here we have the model family of the Easy Starts. We have three models here. We have a model that works up to one and a half tons. This okay. is our model that we often sell into the RV market okay. and the marine market right, and the smaller right. home units. Right. Then we have a model that works up to from two to three and a half tons. That's okay. a very common size for the home. And then we also have a model that goes four to six ton. Okay. And you might say, well, what's six ton? Not too many residential systems are six ton, but there are pool heater systems oh, out there okay. that are six ton. Gotcha. So this is the unit that does that. Super okay. heavy duty. Right here, we got a demo where we actually have a small portable unit where right. we can actually start and run this without easy start and with easy start so you can see the difference. So I got a little peak current amp okay. meter here and a little box where I can either engage this easy start or disengage it. So we're going to first start and run this air conditioner without easy start. And you'll see the peak current. Are we current measuring on the draws. start winding or the run winding? We're measuring on the common. So we're the actually common. getting the total current, the total current. Okay, that good. the compressor is drawing yep. when we go to start it. So you can see right here we got about 35 amps of current when okay. this thing started up. All right. Shut that off. I'm going to reset this. Okay. I'm going to engage the easy start. Give it a second for the easy, for the compressor's internal pressures in refrigerant pressures to equalize. Right. You never should start a compressor immediately after restopping it. Yeah, all right. right. So you're going to demonstrate how it works, right? I'm going to go ahead and now that we've started it with the after we've done the hard start and you saw that it drew 35 amps. Now we're going to start it with easy start. Okay. So we have the switch up and we're ready to go and we'll see how well it does. So for, it'll it'll ramp up in five seconds after it's energized, okay. and we'll see the starting amps. There you go, 11.6 amps oh, wow. as a, compared to 35. Yeah, that's that's a dramatic that's pretty, difference. It's down it's about 65 to 67 percent right. somewhere in that range. And that equals longer life on the on the compressor. Much longer, and now that can start on a low on a limited power source like a generator or an inverter. Yep when it otherwise wouldn't have worked. And if that isn't enough, we actually have a Bluetooth and app. And wait, there's more. There's a Bluetooth app that allows us to connect to the Easy Start. And once we connect, we can go ahead and we can get live data as to how the last start ran. Wow. We can get the number of starts that we've run, if there's ever been any faults. And then and if this isn't good enough, and if you ever have any issues, you can always upload data to MicroWare. And we can remotely diagnose it. And if there's ever any sort of a firmware issue where we need to do an update, you can actually update the firmware over the phone and that's, download it into the Easy Start. That's amazing. So plenty of uh, product support plenty available on the back end. That's so that important. All, all right. Thank you. Wow. Yep. You know, I've seen these in the commercial and industrial yep. world with giant compressors, big blower motors. Yep. And this is just technology that is eventually trickling down to residential. Yep. And I've posted stuff before. I hate hard start capacitors, especially as an upsell. Yep. Because even though they you can take an amp reading on one winding and yep. it looks like it's lower amps what they're not seeing is that momentary spike Correct. in the other winding which can reduce the life of the of the compressor so we should never use hard starts uh, really the soft start is a better way of uh, forward for that and you know if if a hard if you have to use a hard start to start an old compressor the compressor is on its way out anyway yep. you need to be thinking about a solution for that right correct absolutely yep. Yep. Very good. Very good. All so right. That's the product, and it really does work and solves the, all the problems that we cited. And uh, available today, you can get awesome. it online at microware.net. So how how does it wire up? Just before we, we oh, leave, very yeah. Easy. So it's just four wires. We have okay. the compressor. This goes on L1 okay. on the contactor. This goes on L2 okay. on the contactor. 
This goes on the run winding. Okay. And this goes on the start winding. So on the run would, cap. This goes right so that goes the on Herm, cap. and that would go on. This goes on Herm, and then the run winding that you would remove from L2. Yeah. You would splice to this brown wire. Okay. And then right. in its place, back on the contactor, you would put right. this, and this would go on the L1. So it's simple. Terminal. It's very quick. So one question I had was, where does this actually mount? Well, you've got a few choices. Okay. Obviously, the best place to mount it would be inside the electric box if you could. If there's room, If right. there's room. Sometimes you can tuck it above the contactor okay. and the run cap or alongside because sometimes those corner boxes have enough room. Okay. But if you can't fit it, no worries. It's IP65, UV rated plastic. You can stick Great. this out in the elements. Okay. Put Sun's a knock not going to Put a knock, tear it up. an extra knockout okay. in the bottom of the box and run the wires in there because most of the wiring is, or all the wiring is done around the contactor and okay. the run capacity. So it's rated for extra use. You yep. could, it's going to survive a rainstorm, not going to get wet. A rainstorm. Great. It's watertight. Okay. So it's meant to handle the outdoors. And, and one last thing, what's the warranty on, on this <coughs> Two years on the unit itself. Okay, great. So that's, no problem there. That's awesome. These things are designed to last the life okay. of the Where are some of the choices to get one? Are they available online? Are there some local distributors, nationwide distributors? You can, right now, we sell direct to end users and dealers okay. online. And okay. We also have dealer accounts, but okay. we're actually working, right now, we're working hard and fast as we can on getting into distri distribution houses so all the HVAC contractors that are here have a source to get them. Okay. We're in at Johnstone, we're working our way into other places like United and Baker good. and yeah, all Yeah, the nationwide places. ones are going to give you a Nationwide ones good. so that we, everybody has access to the product. Great. And what's the website? www.microair.net. Awesome. Thank you, Mateo. That's a great product, and I'll be uh, putting some in pretty soon, and I'll post some content when I actually install them and, All right. and how it looks.